Hi Capricorn, I am doing your love stitch spread. We're going to look at your love situation, look at your energy around the situation, the person you're thinking about, and look at the energy that you share, possible outcomes, energy you don't see coming, and maybe we'll get some advice. We'll also see what your person wants to say to you. And this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and prominent placements. Here we go. Capricorn, we are calling in your angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light because I don't want to talk to anyone else. And we've got the Seven of Cups reversed, Page of Swords reversed, Ace of Swords reversed, the Hierophant reversed, and strength. Okay, cap. All right, the first word that I'm actually hearing is ultimatum. I feel like someone wants you, <laughs> Mary, somebody said they want you to hold them down. They like want you to hold down this relationship. They want you to focus only on them. This is also about somebody doing some kind of, I'm hearing somebody say prior research, but somebody's doing research on you or some recon. They're looking around, they're asking around. Maybe they're looking at your social media, but they're trying to get some kind of idea about your social and what's going on with you. They're wanting you to cut things out that are not them. And they see that you are doing things however you want to do them. I even, I'm hearing somebody saying that you take charge of your own life or you take charge of the situation. They like your confidence, but they also realize that you are a hot commodity and they want you to focus on them. Let's take a look at your energy Capricorn. So uh, you're kind of like maybe playing hard to get a little bit or just maybe being yourself and you're just not totally available or totally available to just them and they know it. You are saying that you're kind of enjoying this. There might be some kind of enjoyment out of the chase, just out of the back and forth. It seems like there's banter back and forth and you're recognizing them as somebody that is, you're partnering with them. There's some kind of physical attraction, but also just like inspired partnership kind of thing. And you're also saying you don't want to hurt anyone's heart is what I'm hearing. But you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. You don't want to be a sneaky monkey about it. It's almost like you're being private. Kind of like it's none of their business, but they're wanting it to be their business. But they're not in a place to request that, hey, let's just do this thing together with nobody else. They feel like you wouldn't want to do that and they don't want to lose you completely. Yeah, and you're talking about, you know, Cap, I don't know if you're already in a committed relationship. Here's the marriage card. So you might be in a committed relationship, but enjoy the banter back and forth, something. And you're also talking about soulmate relationships. I feel like you're talking about, yeah, soulmate relationships. And we have more than one soulmate and soulmate relationships are not always romantic. So it's kind of like having a soul pod. You have your soul group or your soul pod. And you're talking about bantering or having some kind of connections with people who are soulmates. But then you're also talking about having a committed relationship. I don't think the committed relationship is with the person that you're thinking of. We might come back to your energy over here, Capricorn. Let's look at the person that you're thinking of and their energy. They're thinking about the future. They're thinking about manifesting with you in the future. 
again with this, they want a connection with you and they want to be like the light of your, the twinkle in your eye. They want you to focus on them. They want you to ground your energy and resources, not just finances, but time, energy, effort, love, all of that stuff. They want you to focus on them. They also want to have fun. Ah, uh, you know what? Somebody, this is for somebody. Okay, there. I'm getting two different things. Somebody's trying to figure out what you're doing because they don't know, but somebody else has an idea of your relationship status and they like being social with you regardless. Okay, and oh, they're talking about they do want to manifest you to themselves, however. And they do feel very tied to you, like soulmate, heart connection. But they're talking about wanting this feeling forever. I love you forever. That kind of that kind of feeling there there is some manipulation going on with this manifesting because they're wanting old ties to be broken and cut so that they are the prominent person in your life they feel like you are a catch they are very physically attracted to you they're very energetically attracted to you they feel like it's mutual and it's almost like they're ready to drop everything or they're ready to make some kind of huge change. They're ready to, they're ready for some kind of explosion to happen, some huge change. And they would be down for that. They, yeah, they're like really pursuing you, really energetically pursuing you. They want that reciprocated. Wow, Capricorn, this reading is explosive today. Okay, so let's take a look at the energy that you share, the energy that you have in common. You're both talking about not being totally sure about the other. Like, is this person really in it to win it? Or are they wanting to have fun? Is this a long-term type of thing? Or... Is this just really exciting and we're recognizing each other because we're in the same soul pod and this is fun and all of this stuff. Um, you could also, the queen of pentacles is the Mary queen. She is reversed. You could be referring to someone's partner who is already in a committed relationship. You are both talking about feeling victorious and finding each other. You're both talking about feeling special to the other, being put on a pedestal to each other. And you're also, check this out. So the Ace of Swords is right here in the middle and the Ace of Wands is right in the middle. Both of them are reversed. So there's some kind of, there's some kind of halt in the progression. There's some kind of like, we get, close to a certain point and then all of a sudden somebody backs off or somebody steps away or somebody takes their energy away um this is also like maybe trying not to push things forward because there's already some kind of commitment in place i want to say though this person that you're thinking about is like ready for that to shift and change like if that shifted and changed they would be ready for that or even maybe secretly manifesting it wanting that let's take a look at this this person this is a cancer card so this person could be a water sign could be a cancer this is also like deep hidden emotions and then we have the knight of swords so Somebody's going to really come correct with their emotions. This is like somebody storming the castle with the truth. 
telling, speaking their truth, talking about their hidden emotions. And it's kind of, again, it might be this person who is so interested in you, Capricorn, because they see you as such a catch. They are so attracted to you. Your energy is, I'm hearing somebody say like undeniable, but they're, I feel like they're about ready to, this is blow you out of the water change, but they're about to blow you out of the water. They're about to tell you some truth and maybe you know it, but hearing it from this person straight up is like, whoa, it's kind of shocking, but it's not because it's a surprise because you kind of know how they feel. It's just the, the blatant honesty of how they're feeling coming out. Okay, let's take a look at a possible outcome for this scenario here. What is going on, Capricorn? Okay, interesting too. Here's the King of Pentacles reversed. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles reversed and the King of Pentacles reversed. And this is the married couple. This is the married king and the married queen. Both of them are reversed. Sometimes that means that's the married queen not acting married, the married king not acting married. Or it could be that they're not feeling safe in the relationship. It also could mean that they're divorced. That's not true for everybody. But okay, so a possible outcome is this king of pentacles reversed. This could be like pulling the rug out from under somebody. Somebody wants to be solid, safe, and secure, but something is making them feel not solid, safe, and secure. And I'm feeling for some of you, it might be this person because this person is fiery and they feel like you're fiery too, energetically. But this person, it's almost like you can't, you don't know what this person's gonna do next. They are, they're surprising. And so it makes you maybe feel insecure. Like, uh, I don't want you to mess up anything I have going on over here by uh, being a reverse magician over here, right? This person can be kind of sneaky and manipulative in order to manifest or get what they want, or they have that energy around them right now. And so it's almost like uh, sabotaging something that you have going on, whether it's a committed relationship or something that, you know, you're working toward. Okay. So possible outcome has to do with someone feeling insecure somehow. And possible outcome is nine of cups reversed. This could be like, I'm wishing for something. I get what I wish for, but it's not exactly what I thought that it was. Or this straight up, I didn't get what I wanted. And this page of pentacles, somebody's still doing some research. So here we have the page of swords up here reversed. This is a spy, like really doing some recon on what your status is, what's going on, maybe through social media and figuring some things out, maybe through kind of talking to you, trying to ask you some questions. I feel like you're not being super clear about some things this page of pentacles is wanting to build a bridge wanting to create a pathway and you're like i kind of feel like this is your energy you're like ah i'm not sure i'm not so sure i'm ready to walk through that rite of passage with you i've got some other things going on in my life that are important to me both of you I feel like this is both of your energy. Here's this King of Cups. This is the in love King. Both of you are talking about action oriented energy, prominent energy, strong energy of love, of heart fluttering. So possible outcomes, like all these feelings, I'm not ready to totally commit, but I'm having all these feelings. I'm not totally ready to create this bridge and start building this foundation with you, but I'm having all these love feelings. So that's going on. Okay. Let's take a look at energy. You don't see come Capricorn energy. You might not see coming just yet. Here is judication, some kind of judgment 
I feel like also this is you being hard on yourself, judging yourself, here's a courtship. So having judgment around this courtship, I do feel like, uh, I'm hearing somebody saying censorship. I feel like somebody's censoring their words. And here's a message of concern. I feel like somebody feels you pull away when you pull away and they kind of start to freak out. And so there's this, they're super, I, I even want to say like love addicted. It's like that type of feeling where you start to pull away. They feel that energetically and quantumly. And then they jump forward to like grab at your energy again. So there's this courtship. It's even leading to this lover's card. And then if there's this backing away or pulling your energy away, somebody's coming forward. And then here we have this main female. So I am again getting this feeling that there might be someone already in the picture, but this other person is wanting that. And just to be clear, there's no gender in tarot. I'm just reading the energies. So take it as it resonates for you. And that's what it is looking like. Okay, that's energy you don't see coming. I want to see what your angels and guides want to say about this connection. Why is this soul pod, soulmate type person showing up at this time for you? What's the soul lesson here? Second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. Cool. So this could be someone that you have known before in this life or dated before in this life or had some kind of connection with in this life. But with this soulmate card, I feel like this is maybe even the reason you're recognizing each other in such an intense or chemical attraction type of way is because you've known each other in past lives. So this relationship deserves a second chance protected you are safe and divinely guided so this is you understanding and knowing what you need to do for you I yeah and I even feel like the reason both of these aces of swords came up reversed is because you're already doing the thing that you're being called to do which is kind of back away then you have the marriage card this relationship is moving towards sacred union on one hand, I feel like this person is talking about that. That's what they want. On the other hand, I feel like you've got this committed thing going on over here. And your guides are talking about that too. You know, I want to pull a couple more cards for you, for your energy. What's going on here? And here you're talking about self-validation. I need to do what's best for me. And that's the thing that this person finds really attractive about you too, is that you are confident and you are coming across as someone who takes care of yourself, takes care of other people. You take care. It's like you take care of business kind of thing. And here's the five of swords. So you're also talking about, I'm feeling kind of some, competition energy but it's even like competition with self like you want to win I want to win I again with this chase the excitement of the chase is coming up so let's take a look at what this person wants to say to you Capricorn. Mm -hmm. yeah I am so attracted to you I feel like they're love addicted I want to feel that way again they don't like it when you back away and they come forward when you back away. I am afraid to contact you. Huh? Okay. So let's get some lunology here. What do your angels and guides, how do they want to advise you? What do they want to say to you, Capricorn? What do you need to know? It's time to take action. 
believe in the impossible. Meditate and contemplate. What is it that you truly desire? What is it that you truly want? I'm going to pull one more. Be bold and make the first move. Well, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. I will see you again in your next reading. Thank you for being here. Bye.